Ghana is very important, especially in, in East Africa. It's actually one of the most important crops that actually gives a lot of income to the farmers. So when we talk banana here, we refer to plantain and banana. So most of the diseases that attack banana, they also end up attacking plantain. So we try as much as possible to prevent such movement of materials that are not well screened. Many of us, when we think of climate change, we're thinking of either drought, flood, and so on. But that is not just about climate. Climate change also brings about evolution of diseases. The effect of climate change on the diseases of, of various plants. So climate change can make, reduce the size of the produce we have in the farm. Let's say a banana that is producing one big bunch, and then you are, in the end you see it producing one small bunch. These are all the effects of climate change. So we try to see whether we can we restate that food security by using our science, which is genetic engineering, classical, and then uh, uh, genome editing. So gene editing is a, um, is a kind of genetic engineering that actually deals with going into the system, into the organism, and trying to tweak the genes that control some aspect of life in that particular organism and see whether we can make little changes that in the end, those little changes we do will result to giving stamina and making that particular crop to, act, to have those features that will make it withstand the effect of the changing environment. We don't just pick banana and start working on it. So, because these various varieties have their own peculiar problems, and so we look at what problem the breeders are facing, uh, the, the farmers are facing, and what problems have the breeders recommended that this is a, a challenge for the farmers. So that is what we look into and see whether we could solve it and make sure. So, but a few of those varieties have been released by breeders that are actually a bit high yielding. So those things are already in place. Gene editing is. It's an interesting uh, aspect of biotechnology. We feel it is very, very good, very safe, and there is no issue applying gene editing. We have to impart knowledge. You get from the society, you give back to the society. As many people as possible should learn and get that idea so that they can uh, actually improve their own self and improve the society. At times, we don't really care so much about communicating into the general public for them to accept. But when Alliance for Science came into RITA, so they made us, to, especially like me, to understand that science communication is very, very important. And so that one gave me an idea on how I can effectively communicate science instead of using the jargon in science that we usually do, because in the publications we do, is the jargon we use. And only the, those in the science community in the field will understand. But what of the people outside there? At times they don't understand. And so they taught us, especially like me, how to communicate without using those jargons. I like to see a world where everybody will be self-sufficient, at least food. If everybody has food to eat, that is food secured.